Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hero Without a Name. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and as you can see, I have the uh, blue ring along with the enemy bait and the uh, power bracelet. And I went ahead and bought the sword just because I figured it'd just make things easier, and I already showed you guys where to get the white sword. And I plan on doing that in this video, time permitting. Anyway, first thing I want to do is get rid of this guy. So, hopefully it should be rather simple as long as I dodge his shots there. Ah. Ah, dang it, oh well. At least with the blue ring it'll make things easier. Holy cow, how many hit points does this thing have? Uh, come on. Really? There we go. And what do I get for beating this thing? An angry pet, uh, a scared pet owner, and a uh, new heart container. Very nice. Thankfully, that thing will never be seen again. Uh, and now I'm actually going to show you where the next couple of dungeons are. Or the first one right away, the second one will be a bit later. Ah, darn it. And I could end up uh, going um, this way to get go through those maze paths, but there's an easier way. And first thing, take advantage of trying to get some more money. And if you go over this way, True Zelda fans will know it, recognize that little rock formation. Uh, you push that rock down and you find a staircase. Welcome to the warp cave indeed. Uh, if you go down here, this will just send us back to where we were just a moment ago. And there's a few other places. Ones that we can't really access until we have the right item. That requires an arrow of some sort. I think the silver arrow. That one requires, I think, the magical boomerang. But this one, I believe, simply requires... Was it the sword? Yes, it does require a sword. And here we end up in the uh, graveyard. A little frame of reference here. And here we have a death knight. Yeah. Kind of interesting seeing one in the overworld, and uh, it is actually worth your while to kill that thing, just not here and now, because if you kill him, you can push one of the gravestones and get the uh, magical sword. Obviously, I'm not going to get that now. Okay, so if we come down here, we see an odd little mausoleum grave thing going on, and this requires a bit of sacrifice. Because, as you can see, the only way to touch the Armos is, is from underneath. And goodness knows, that is a good way to hurt yourself. But, it is worth your while. Because if you hit the second one, you get the whistle. Which is pretty much something you're going to want to progress. And I don't think there's anything here. Uh, at least nothing that's worth mentioning or whatever. And I might as well show you what else is in this graveyard here. So what do you, what do you have to tell me? Find life at the bottom of the lake where the Zoras don't live. All right, and that pretty much leads to one of the maze areas, and I'd rather not try and remember which <laughs> what the path is for that one at the moment. And I. Want to live again? Not uh, live to see another day, and goodness knows that thing can kill you in one shot rather easily. All right, so what do we have up over here? Once I get past these things, aha! And if you use the whistle right here, we find ourselves in the grave. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44. No less, no more. I don't get the reference there, but that's fine. 
And the odd thing about this is that you pretty much had to use the whistle, like, right here. Like, if you use it somewhere else... Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> anyway, now that that's out of the way, it's time to explore some more of this area. Uh, so, first and foremost, I want to get that boomerang now. Now that I have the means to to get it with the sword to take out the uh, the whiz ropes and the uh, whistle to deal with those stupid dig dodgers. And I am convinced I'll get something if I kill this thing. Even though there's already a key to be had here. Uh, come on. Go ahead and take you out. Make things somewhat easier, maybe. Hey, fighting dark nuts with a regular sword. Not fun. Uh, just, just die, please. Thank you. Ah. Shouldn't even bother going after those Zoras unless I know I can kill it. Eh. Hey, I, I did not mean to do that, and okay. Didn't think a whirlwind would appear here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll go ahead and head back over here and get to kill all these whiz robes. Which isn't that hard as long as you're able to get out of their way. Because those beams do hurt. And yeah, you got more money out of it. Eh, I have a feeling it's gonna drop a key. Hey! Okay, one of them was the leader. Fair enough. Now to take care of these guys. Oh, good thing I caught out of the way there. And Okay, fine. Might as well take advantage of having multiple weapons at my disposal. Eh. Maybe I should be using the bow at some point, but oh well. You know what? There we go, and oh! No key. Fair enough. Alright then, so did I only need that one other key for this? I, with the wizards and dig dodgers, I would have sworn that there would have been two keys. And now it makes me worried. Uh, might as well get some more money if possible. Eh, eh. At least I got a heart back. Compass? Seriously? Okay. Not like I need it at this point. Stupid lionels and their sword throwing abilities. Come on. Die, please. So I can get what you're guarding. There we go. And good, the Goma didn't come back. <laughs> okay, so now that we got the boomerang, now I can go ahead and get that white sword. That should make things much, much easier from here on. And I wish there was a way for you to stay dead, but oh well. Uh, do I need to? I can just go around this way. That'll make things easier. And that seems to be the thing I'm saying now, for some reason. Uh, and just use the boomerang there. And... White sword. Fair enough. Alright, now that we got that... Um, I think it's time to maybe explore the world a little bit more. So, what... What do we have here, I wonder? I forgot what was here. Eh. 
Aha! Uh -huh. I think this is a good, uh, not much more than a good money grinding spot. Because goodness knows these blue tektites are good for money. Uh, let's see, what else is here? Uh huh. Also good for money? Oh, I've got the white sword. Duh. If I still had the white, the regular sword, I would have needed to use the arrow to kill them. All right, I believe there's yeah, the bunny rabbits. Nothing wrong with the bunny rabbits. Just they tend to hurt a lot. Eh, still not much from these guys. Huh. Although I do remember one thing in particular that is here. And that is... Yeah. I believe that rupee is worth 50. But for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be going for that just now. Uh, so what? What is over here? Ah, more tektites. Fair enough. Well, like I said, it's nothing else. It's a good money grinding spot, I guess. Ah. Oh, come on. There we go. And I guess that's pretty much it for this area. Uh, okay then. I was tempted to go after go after those Aquaman, uh, those uh, not Aquamantis, uh, manhandlers just now, but I ultimately decided against it. All right, so there's not much there. I don't think there's much here either. In fact, this whole region there isn't really much to it. I'm convinced that it's just here to fill up space or something. Someone might have to prove me wrong there, but. And nothing there. I don't think there's anything here either. It's just filler at this point. But yeah, n yep, there is nothing there. Now here, I believe there is actually something. I just don't think it's something I can do right now. Uh, just come on, die, please. Stupid son of a thank you. Uh, I think there's something you can bomb there, but I am not. Oh uh, wait, hold on. There's a. I think if you come back from the other way, you can push a rock and do something with that. But I don't really remember what's there. Uh. Come on, just die in mass, please. There we go. And that brings us all full circle. Fair enough. There's the shop that I got the now obsolete sword from. Uh, yeah, there was something over here that I can get now that I have the uh, power bracelet. Go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, I have to push that rock over. And that opens up that way. And this is a shop that has some good stuff in it, including an even bigger, uh, the uh, Max Bomb Bag and a raft. Which, since I can afford, I might as well get that now. So, yeah, that's something to grind for later. Uh... And goodness knows it will be way worth it later on. I was kind of wondering when I would be get when that thing would be available. Um, so there's really only a couple of the things that is really of note at this point. Uh, there's that, which I don't think there's much to it there. Just something for the decor. And enemies and all that lovely stuff. Ah, right here is an information room. 
However, the information that is here is, as of now, officially redundant. But I'm going to show it to you guys regardless. Yeah, stuff that I have already shown you. And over here, there's a pathway that goes further on, but I'll show you guys what that's about later. And there's not much there. Aha, I think you, this requires using the arrow. Ah, there we go. And dang, I almost got stuck. Um, what do I get for helping this guy? Ah, another, another heart container. Very nice. And here I already showed you the tip about following the music. And I am about to do that just now, right, right here and now. And this also gave me a lot of grief because I was convinced that it involved using the whistle. Turns out this is true. But like the grave, I had a heck of a time figuring out what I was, where I was supposed to use this thing. Turns out I was supposed to use it right here. And so if you use it anywhere else, it's not really going to work. And that gave me such a pain. That was such a pain for me. And in here is the pit. Oh boy. <laughs> but since I've, I've shown you guys a good bit here, I think that's a good spot to stop for now. So join me next time when I go into the grave. Hopefully not to stay. Until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.